Okay, so now what we want to do is import some props, which will make our level look better. Um, add some detail to it. So I'm going to append. Append, what it does is it loads a certain file to your blend file. So you should be looking at where you saved the download files that I add in the description. So uh, I have it saved under tutorial files, level creation. Okay, first of all, we're going to add the collapsed rock and object. I created those. I call this collapsed rock, as you can see. So we're going to load the co collapsed rock under object. So here, collapsed rock, select it. Object, collapsed rock, one for me for some reason. So those are the collapsed rocks that I created. Uh, basically, the idea that I had is that the player would be trapped after the tunnel collapsed. Um, I'm going to rotate this. So basically, your character is stuck. Alright, so just try to cover up. If you're going to create this for a game, for a serious game, then you might want to add something in the background to make it look as if the cave is extending. In our case, I'll be fine with those. Um, obviously, you can't see well because it's dark. Uh, we're going to add a few lamps. So let's add the lamp right now or the lantern. So I'm going to append the lantern. Um, append right here. Go up. Lantern 1. Uh, there's no lantern 2, so who cares. This is saved as cube. Uh, I guess I forgot to name that lantern. Uh, so this is a lantern, as you can see, pretty ugly. Uh, but it's not for a serious game. It's for a tutorial. Um, you can reuse this content, those objects, you can just use them in your projects. Just give me some credit um, for it. But you can use them for your projects if you want. Uh, okay, so we'll have our lantern over here. And now we're going to add a lamp. Lamp. A point. <coughs> and you can see the spec has returned, so that's one issue that we're going to have to deal with. I'm not sure why it added that over there, because I have my 3D cursor over there for some reason. I'm going to turn to GLSL. Now, the lighting over here, you won't need that if you're not using GLSL. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so this is really bad. Like, with the specular map, I'm going to change this to spot. That's... Perhaps, no, that's still bad. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so we're going to go with point. I'm just going to deselect specular over here. So it doesn't actually add spec to an object that it lights up. Uh, that was the solution that I thought of a few days ago, which I forgot right now. So we're going to have our l lamp over here. Okay, uh, now I want to change that. Obviously, the, in the old days, you had objects being lit up by... Uh, flames and lanterns which have a yellowish color so we're gonna change that to a yellowish orange color I think this is fine except it's too strong so I'm gonna reduce the distance okay I'm gonna drag that yes and I'm gonna make it have more energy so as you can see this increases the distance so I'm gonna have to decrease the distance but it has more energy. Um, okay, this is pretty good. Uh, maybe less energy would be better. Um, or maybe more energy, less distance. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, you can make, you can change the color, you can play around uh, with the lighting. Okay, so that's our lantern. Now we will import some more project, uh, objects, sorry. Uh, rock, let's go with rock, object, rock, one append it's right here make this smaller as you can see it doesn't fit in with the texture of the cave but I guess that's okay um, in your game you obviously want to put in enough effort to make sure that the textures match alright so I'm just gonna have a bunch of rocks over here maybe falling down from uh, the rocks over there I don't know just add random details like don't add too many props because that's polygon detail that's texture that's extra textures uh, extra objects to calculate shading for so keep in mind that uh, that like adding more props is going to slow down your game 
Now, uh, we're going to append the next object. Let's see. Um, let's import the plank. Actually, no. Let's import the wooden support. Okay, so wooden support, import. As you can see, I created this because generally tunnels that are human-made have this. And this is obviously a human-made tunnel. Otherwise, it would have more jagged sides. So I'm going to try to scale this to make it fit properly. You have to have this underground, obviously. Rotate it. All right. Uh, I think this is fine. Yes, that's fine enough. Uh, be careful about your placement because no one uh, sticks his plank inside a rock. And I doubt that anyone is powerful enough to do that easily unless they have some kind of drill, which didn't exist during the time of this ancient game. So uh, we're going to move this a bit over here. Maybe rotate it, drag it down, make sure it's underground. It sinks enough, okay. And we're going to add, no, actually, okay, we're not going to add another one of these. Uh, the next one we're going to add, I made two of these just for variation, um, which is something you want to go for. You don't want your scenes to look way too repetitive, so wooden support two is just a bit different. And I'm going to explain the difference to you. So this is also called wooden support. And the difference is, if you haven't noticed, this one has some moss uh, hanging from it. Small details count, as I said. Um, the player might, uh, the players obviously are not going to say, oh, they added moss to that support. That's cool. They're not going to notice that. They're playing the game. But what they're going to notice is there's detail in the game. What's that detail? It's detail. They don't know specifically, but there is detail, and they're going to appreciate that subconsciously. So keep that in mind. Um, yes, I may sound like some uh, video game nerd here, but I read some books, yes, um, about video game design. And that's not a bad thing. In fact, it's a good thing because you know how to des design games well. Okay, so now we're going to import our plank, which I have been so anxious to import right now, although it's not that great. Uh, it's just a normal plank, so object. I was really anxious. It's... I just said that. Okay. Rotate this. You could make this dynamic uh, using the physics options. You can make it rigid body so that it behaves realistically. Or you could not. Uh, one thing that's really cool that I noticed, let's say we want to add this plank. Um, we're going to use this tool, snapping tool. Okay. So snap to face. No, to, uh, sorry, I put edge. Um, to face. Now I'm just going to grab it with the G key. And notice when I... Hold on. It should copy the rotation. Align rotation, yes, okay. So uh, you can see it rotates here. So it looks weird with this plank, but it's actually fine. Okay, so ju this just helps you. Now, obviously, it doesn't work with the plank, as you can see it goes through, but I just wanted to show this. Um, it's pretty cool. Now, uh, you want to turn this off once you're done moving it with the lock-on, because it's going to mess you up. So I'm going to move this plank over here, rotate it on the x-axis. Perfecting is not something I'm worried about. Um, but, okay, let's try this with the rocks. I just made a copy as you can see it's pretty nice pretty neat goes on any object yeah it's pretty cool delete that extra rock okay so that's just if you're adding grass for example that's gonna take you a long it's gonna take you a long time to align it perfectly um, with the ground or the terrain so just wanted to let you know about that in case you will be adding grass or any kind of shrubs to your levels uh, the last thing okay no that's not the last thing okay so there's this really terrible create model that I used, that I made, sorry, uh, which is really bad, but I thought it was an interesting detail. Turn off this lock-on because it's annoying, and crates are generally, f they're generally laid down flat. So, rotate. 
let's keep the crate over here okay uh, it's flat ground so it's easier to keep it there okay move it from the rocks a bit so that's our simple crate so there are signs of civilization here um, let's see rock lantern we went through all these wooden support plank yes okay so now the pillars this is the coolest thing I added and, and it looks really cool in GLSL OpenGL not so great but so I'm gonna add all of these th all the lamps um, actually no the lamp one and two and I'm gonna add the pillar so I used uh, if you watched my resources uh, video I used the skeletons from I got the skeletons from blend swap I will be adding the creators name in the credits of my video just in case you're interested uh, like I said um, if you watch my resources video you'll notice that blend swap requires some credit so if you're gonna use those pillars for your game uh, make sure you know who created this in case you need to credit and you might want to check blend swap just to know if you're gonna credit so let's say this will be the end of our tunnel and I like to make things interesting and that's why I added the skulls over here I created the pillars myself I just brought the skeletons and yeah okay right perfection is not my thing you can drag this obviously um, yeah okay yeah okay so we're gonna end that that's the end of our tunnel so that's basically it for adding props you might want to add a lantern over here um, the light as you can see is a bit too weak so I'm gonna select those lights and add energy not too much energy let's undo that apparently the lights energy oh yes uh, I need to check this off so it doesn't add spec actually I wanted to add spec except it messes up my rock but okay well let's not add spec it's gonna mess up my surrounding rocks deselect spec um let us say where's that Emmy over here the main light for dark areas I'm gonna make this have less energy no less energy uh, the real-time uploading is uh, killing me because I'm recording this with fraps as I use GLSL all right um, I think this is fine okay uh, they look cooler now darker okay so that's it for adding props that would be a basic tunnel all right like I said you can add a lamp um, I've created a character let's see how it goes so I've created a character as you might have noticed I put it up for download um, now this character may not be the greatest character but it's a character it's very simple uh, does its job so we're gonna select camera one cube not lamp plane no not not even plane okay so cube and camera is what we want and append uh, that's pretty small so we're gonna scale our character up and our character is probably the coolest character you'll ever find there's nothing better than having a cube walk around in your game uh, go to camera and I've added some simple controls no not this camera alright so the default camera set to the scene camera uh, we don't want that so I'm gonna select the camera that I just appended and view camera set active object as camera so now this camera will be our camera so I'm gonna zoom in with the mouse wheel just to see how it looks in game and we will test our level very simple as you can see here's the tunnel as you can see the bounds are also okay um, just one tip once you have complex levels you don't want to use the actual terrain as the bounds uh, the character just slips so we have our simple uh, level over here you can see the moss hanging those are the kind of details I'm talking about uh, pretty small but significant uh, here's our tunnel I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, just one last tip if you are going to have complex levels you don't want to use the actual uh, 
terrain mesh as your bounds. Uh, you might want to add a plane and make it invisible and use that as the bounds. Uh, make it low poly obviously. Uh, I will be teaching you about bound systems in a later tutorial. So just for now the graphics of the level. A uh, basic character that can walk around, imported objects, scale them to fit your level. Learn the lock on tool with this uh, plank although it didn't look so great but it looked good with the rock. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe for future tutorials. And if you want a specific tutorial, just post a comment and I will consider that for my next tutorial.